By the way, a while ago, when I was talking about the front porch, you know, I was kind of serious about that too. There's two things that we did in this country in recent years that was a mistake. We quit having porches on the front of the house. And then I think, and you're not going to hear this theory from anybody else, so you might as well enjoy the next few minutes. <laughs> There has been so much talk in recent years about all this bad shape the country's in, the violence and this, and the kids out of control, and, and it's just out of control. It's just, oh, Lord, what are we going to do? Well, see, I'm one of those people that don't think that's a big problem. When the American people used to eat food and had eating habits the way our parents and grandparents did, and our ancestors did, we were not a weak, sniveling population. In recent years, we've become a nation of pissers, moaners, and whiners. <laughs> Everybody's a wuss, wuss. Everybody's sensitive, just sensitive. <laughs> That's why the kids are out of control. As long as we ate greasy fried food, a lot of grease, we was in good shape. When we switched to rotisserie, <laughs> the country took a dive. There's no men left in America anymore. When we cut off the grease flow to our brain, the backbone shrunk. We got men, grown American men, going out to lunch now, walking up to the counter and saying to the guy behind the counter, is that rotisserie? I, I believe I can have a small piece if it's rotisserie. I can eat the skin, is it skinless? We got, we got men, grown American men, whose idea of breakfast now is a banana and a muffin. A muffin, God help us, they're eating muffins. And you wonder why the country's out of control? Ain't nobody in charge. You know this, rotisserie, Rotisserie was only available in fast food chicken places in this country just six, eight, nine years ago. You know that. But it's not a new food item. They've been eating rotisserie in France for 200 years. But France is a wuss nation. <laughs> That's why we always have to fight their damn wars for them. <laughs> they never had no men over there. And now that's what's happening to us. 